Hi everyone, welcome back again. So in the last video, I did say I'm shutting my system down, which is the greenhouse around the back, the polycarbonate one, which I had done, shut it down, I'm not shutting everything down, obviously, I'm using the tanks, which are, I've moved around the back. There's one here, and there's one here, which I'm gonna, gonna move around, get more set up and everything, but it's cost a fortune in there, like for the winter and that. Obviously, these tanks here will be getting shut down in winter time and stuff, you see. Obviously that one, put the polytunnel back up on that, so that polytunnel on this one will be coming down, you see. So I'm going to take that down this weekend. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous today, as you can see. So it's starting to get me a bit now. It's starting to get a bit of sun time already. So it's an absolutely gorgeous day, but it's doing good on these uh, solar system up here, as you can see. The solar panels, it's getting 2.6, 2.8, I think, again today. That is the max I'm getting out of them. It's absolutely crazy before I get a lot more out of them. So it's 4.8 kilowatts. It's a beautiful day, but I'm going to get like 2.6 max out of that. So I do need to put the other solar panels as well i'm going to put them up here somewhere so we'll get some more out of it so what i'll do now i'll turn you around and show you the bits and the uh, bobs we're doing so as you can see this is my first system just under 500 gallon this one is which is about 500 gallon of a quick measure but in here i've got loads of pipe work inch and a half pipe work which we'll be using again some valves and stuff like that valves the heater and that i will probably put one on there but i'll never use it only if i need it to uh, emergency treatment and stuff like you see so in the heater, this is a two kilowatt, I thought it was a one kilowatt, but that's just for emergency only. But I've got it, so I might as well put it on this system or another system there. Not 100% what I'm going to do with it yet. But so in the, the bottom drain, obviously coming through the bottom of the pond, which is here. A bit of water in that. We're going to cut that a bit across here, which is uh, the black pipe. But the four inch, I'll make it fit the pressure pipe. It's going to fit on there, you see. So I'll uh, cut it across there and put it on that. We've got the drum system as well. That's all on. Well, not on, in place. I've uh, been leveling up today. Obviously, doing the packers and stuff with bits of slating that you see. Across here, around the back, level it all up, nice and level. Just bang on level now. Nice and level on the drum. So that's bang on again. Swim across there. You can see it. It's nice and level across there as well. Just bang on. Uh, this one now, it's obviously about to the bio system drop it down a little bit as you see there's my line this line here so it's just above this line here where the drain's going to be about well, the waste shoot off the drum system so it's just below as be there there we go just below it so the water line will be somewhere here so you need a cap on that as well yet yeah. but saying uh, this way i come in obviously coming from the bottom drain come across the four inch valve on here which i'll show you those in a minute it's got a bag on them as well didn't see the cwd today and sand batch so there it'll be coming up coming across up into there I'll just show you the back now coming up here into the dirty side of the drum into there which comes in here which i'll show you another time again and do it all out get this crap and stuff out your waste chute same again that'll come down here and these are the turn pipes here so they had them different last time they had the waste the water coming in the clean water coming in there and shooting out for the other side but this is a bit low when it was sucking for easy now and again so i couldn't have it on max power but now i'm going to come in through the side in here off the drum clean side of the drum which is coming out here sorry clean side of the drums coming through here into this bit here and then down here this is where the pump and is going to sit you see sit on there pump back up here over there into a shower system and that there but these are the fittings everything i've got today this is the white fittings Got a nice coupler as well, I'll show you that in a second. So we've got the big four inch valve. It's absolute banging for the price. I think it charges 50 quid retail price. It's absolute bargain for the price really. Good set of valves, absolute bang on. Nice to move, nice and easy, which I'll show you again after when it's all fitted. But cannot fault that. So we've got these uh, sockets as well. So you can uh, undo them nice and easy. Any major things coming off the system, or if I move the system again, makes it easier to move the system, undo that, don't have to disconnect and cut everything again, which I've done there. If you had that on there, I could have done something with it. So it's uh, disconnecting it all. It makes everything easier. Same again, on the drum system, whatever you want with it. If when you're putting the pipes and stuff on here, if you don't get them on bang on, all you've got to do, turn that. Makes it nice and easy, which I'll show you again later on. These white pipes as well. So these are half the price as the grey ones, you see. So I can't fault these at all. So near the same thickness as those. Well, probably are the same thickness. Probably half a mil thinner. But for half the price, 
Superman has got those pressure pipe fittings, PVC. Pressure pipe, as you can see there. St. Carl's got these made for him from somewhere. But uh, he's really chuffed with them. So we've got the main pond as well. But that is absolutely doing disgusting the glasses at the minute. I do need to clean all this off. That's when I'm feeding the fish. They're coming up, splashing around here, you see. So it has got a bit green at the minute. So the UV is not on, which we've not had it on all year. But I've not turned it on back on again now since the uh, last PP treatment a few months ago. But I do need to get it back on again, because obviously the sun is absolutely blaring today. Gorgeous weather out here. And it's got a bit green, so we need to get it sorted out. Get this uh, UV back on and get this back to normal, because we've got a, a Malga in the Profi drum and I've got a 55 watt as well, so this should be nice and clear in no time when this is uh, all sorted. Same in this one in here. Same again in here, starting to go green. There's a the polytunnel that you see. It's, just here. it's absolutely baking in here. This morning it was only 16 degrees. I'm just going to grab the gun. Two secs. Right, let's grab the gun. So this morning it was 16 degrees. And I'll show you this morning now. 16 degrees in there. So let's get the gun on. It's in 19.3 in here now. So it's gone up three degrees today since this morning. I'm saying it's a lot murky in here as well. You can see the water going green. We've so got a lot of sun shining through and stuff here. But I am going to take this polytone down today here. There's a UVs around the back here. I'm going to plug that in today as well. Well, once I clean out today, I'm going to clean this today. Got a lot of clean, so a lot of fish in here. But they're absolutely starting to pack size already. Absolutely crazy, a bit of warmth. Plenty of food in here. These get fed, fed uh, three times a day, but started up the feed next week or so. Obviously, it's letting the filters and everything catch back up, but, well, there's a few fish in here I've got rid of before. Obviously, uh, there's a lot more fish in here now than there was before, you see. It's in the filters are uh, absolutely really fine. Just the green water, you need to get rid of. So and this is the other pond as well. So it's near just under 500 gallons again, the easy pond. That's the top for it. Obviously, the netting, stop the fish jumping out and stuff. So and this one here has got a better bottom drain, which is nice and uh, small, 10 mil holes. So this way, a lot of smaller fish will be going in this one, you see. That's so the groans and stuff in here. So the bottom drain, I know it's only 10 mil on the other one, like, but if it could ever come off, the fish gets sucked and leave, you see. But with that 10 mil holes on there, it's a lot better idea. Nice sunk in. A lot better. Right, what I'm doing around here as well, it's the back of it. Obviously, the drains, bottom drain is there. I'm going to use this other evolved filter with the Draco dropper as well. Some Draco dropping that. I'll be using that. By the way, so that's the bottom drain there. Obviously, I've got to turn this round, it's the wrong way around in a bit. That's your bottom drain. Obviously, coming up. I'm be connected in this side here, on this drum. Turn this around. I've got to build some sort of a frame or something to put this on as well. I've built up. And there we go. So that's the uh, looks like cracking. It's all done. So that's the socket and everything here. That can be all powered on this and that. Plenty of power outside. So my drain is down this way. I'm going to take this down as well this weekend. Obviously, it's getting baking there now. So it's 20 degrees in the water. Well, 19 point something degrees in the water. And in there, it's got to be 25, 26 degrees. Probably going to get hotter today. So I'll get a gun out later on again. And then uh, we'll read later on and see how much we start getting hot in here. Other than that, these are hungry again. I might chuck a feed in a minute. Some absolute cracking fish in this one. A lot of smaller ones and everything. They can be sorted out. Gonna go in that bat outside there as well. You see, separate a little bit and get some growth on them. Some absolute cracking fish in there. So we'll bowl these up again in a good few weeks' time again. Let's we'll move them over. Well, a week or so's time. And we'll move over into that one there. Some well chuck of them fish. So it does a little bit green, so I definitely need to get this uh, UV up and running as well. Alright, I will catch you in a bit. So we took the polytone down today as well. There's a lot more space in the garden as you can see now. A lot better. Just had the jet wash roll out as well. Jet was still in the garden. Well, about an hour or so ago. So that's it dried up now. Jet was still all the way down there. I'd say it's all jet was through. That's it, done the pipe work. It's all right there. I'm saying that's the white joint, which I'm not really fussed about. So the, them joints are half the price of the grey ones, because they're white. There's not a problem with that at all. So we got the Velta uh, valve. So I thought, right, I'm going to use that. I might as well use that. Makes sense, it's there. It's a, one more bad off my old system. I'm going to use it up. 
So it's only if I turn the bottom drain off so I can get to the drum, nothing much is here, you see. So turn the drum off, which is fine. Uh, I've got the purge valve here. So we need to purge the bottom off. I'll chuck it off, that'll go straight through there. There's a drain, this side here. So we're gonna put it through there, pipe through there, come across, across onto here, the pipe through there, which the door is, is being moved across afterwards, you see. Does that make sense? Nice purge valve. It's only really charging 50 quid, 49.99, I think they are. It's actually a cracking price for 50 quid. And then once that makes sense there, I like to put a purge valve on everything I do. So make sure, obviously, any bacteria or anything in the bottom drain or something get flushed out, you see. Makes sense. But the back there, we've got another white joint, which you can't see. Same with these, I'm going to put a box all around this, you see. So we a box around it, you're not going to see none of that. So that makes sense. After price, put it on. So not the great lot here. So we've got the pump down here, which is connected up now. That's coming across. Well, obviously it's coming out of here. This is where the tank's coming out. Coming out of there, coming down there. As you can just about see. We'll crap down there in a minute. It's got another velter valve on, on there, which is on there. I don't like using them, but what I've done, I've used all the old bits, you see, all the old pipe work. So it's a mad angle, as you can see, it coming round. I've done it different if it didn't uh, have that velter valve there. But obviously I've used it up, used the pipe work, so he's wasting it all. Coming in. Coming up, same as you can see here, just put a, a joint on there, same same uh, pipe work again, it's gone down to inch and a half. Coming across, there's going to be an elbow, which is coming up here, it's this piece here, I've cut this off as well, you see. So it's coming across here, and that'll be a return. That's that one, return, so I've got a nice flow rate going around here. Does that make sense? Nice flow rate, keep the fish fit. And so there's going to be another one, where we have teed off, coming across into it, there's going to be a shower across here, you see. or Maybe not 100% where I'm putting the shower here, I'll probably blend up, put it on this side here. See so how we go, uh, make the net cut down the size again, the net where I've gone for it. Other than that, it's looking cracky now. So I didn't get what I uh, wanted to do, I was well behind on it, just getting all the rest of the bits and that done. As you can see, the poly tool now is down, so it's a bit more space in the garden. But these in here looking cracky now. I'm well sure for these in here. Absolute cracking there now. So it is a bit green. Obviously it's night time now, it's cracking up. We'll put the UV on today as well. UV's turned on in the back, as you can see. It is blue. There's a torch on me phone at the minute. Two secs. And there we go, there's a the blue light. That's doing the job. This should go nice and clear. The next few days, this morning it was proper murky it was. Now the greenhouse is down, it's made the garden look a lot better. A lot more spacious. It's in a will eventually as well. Put a little board around here, make it nice, nice and tidy. Paint it up, probably grey, the same as I've done the pond and stuff around here. But other than that, nowhere near what I want to get done. I want to get all this connected this weekend. I want to get all that connected weekend, but it didn't happen. That's down. Jet was store free. All the way down there now, so I'm happy with that this weekend. That's all done nice and neat now. But so in this weekend, I didn't get nowhere near what I want to finish off out there. I did want to get both tanks up, uh, done other bits and everything which I've done, so I'm glad of that. But I do need to get that other tank up and running, you see. So I want to get a few of these out of here, out of this one, a couple out of that one outside, so I can uh, get these going on again. So I can't wait till these grow on these big ones here. Well, they have grown on already, but absolutely putting the size on. I do need to get rid of these smaller ones out now. It's absolutely mad. All these ones are coming out of here. Just uh, two kayakers and people in there. All them be gone. These ones in here. So there's uh, probably half of those are probably coming out of there. There's a couple of sankers up here coming out of there. What else is in there? Uh, Goshki. What else is in that one? There's yeah, definitely two sankers and all that. All oh, the shear rolls there coming out as well. So I do need to get these outside really. Get them moved on for whatever I'm going to do with them. But. This weekend, I keep saying, it's absolutely just flown by. I'll see Saturday at a barbecue in the afternoon. Didn't fish the bits out there. Just had a barbecue with the missus and my daughter and her boyfriend and that. Really enjoyed that. So in today, Sunday, obviously what to get a lot more done today. We've got nowhere near as much as uh, what to do today. Jet was still the yard, that's all done. Poly tunnel's down. Makes sense, like so. Got that down now. Got that ready. But I want to get that tank up and running. Obviously the water's going in now. That's all done, all filling up uh, overnight, like so. Let's see how it goes. I've always got Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, see how we go when I finish work and he's uh, sorting out. 
But as always next weekend, but weekends absolutely flown by, so I fully enjoyed it. But they're all done now. I'm really happy really. So that's it for this one. And uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, become uh, subscribe to us and thumbs up and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.